Hey guys, Nick, aka the winner on Crisis YT, and this is a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary in which I wanted to talk about something that uh, isn't said a lot, and it's just talking about growing up and being a kid and things like that, and how you transition from a kid to you know a young adult into adulthood and things like that. And I know I'm not even considered a true adult yet, but anyway, um, you know, I my two year old nephew who's you know, two years old, obviously, has been coming over to my house. We've been babysitting him, if you will, a lot. And uh, it kind of, like, amazes me that he can play with his toy cars and his stuffed animals and whatnot and have the time of his life and enjoy what he's doing and, and using his own imagination to have fun. And it's like, what happened to those days? You know, what happened to those days where I could sit down and play with a toy car for an hour and a half and make my own imagination of things? And then after that hour and a half, I'm like, oh, this is getting kind of boring. But then, you know, I pick up another toy car and I'm like, oh my god, I can do something with this now. It's crazy how we used to be able to do that stuff and now we can't. Now we're in this whole technological world where video games are taking over and the only entertainment we can get is from video games and from TV and movies and things like that. Now the the simple playing, the simple toys and things like that have went out the window. And it kind of sucks. I kind of miss those days where, you know, the simple toys came back and they were like, yes, the simple toys where I can play with the car and have fun and stuff like that. It's gone now and it's like, wow, I kind of wish I kind of wish it was back. I wish I could go back there for a day. I mean, I wouldn't want to go back there and stay there forever, of course, but I, would, I wish I could go back there for a day and just live one more day as a little kid. And I would come back and I'd remember what it was like, you know, because when you're a little kid, all you have to do is eat, sleep, poop, drink, and play. That, that's it. And when I may drink, you know, like keep fluids in your body, like water and milk and stuff. But anyway, um, I wish I could go back and do that for one day. Just to, you know, see what it was like. Just to actually know. Because... We don't remember what it was like when we were a little kid. Sure, we might have this kind of deja vu sort of feeling where we might remember. I remember doing that, you know, when I was a little kid and stuff, but it's not like you truly remember it. You might remember a little flash, and you kind of might remember how you felt, maybe. But most of the time, it's just like this little flashback kind of thing. And I just, I just wish I could go back and re-experience what was going on when I was a little kid for one day because it's something that we, we, we kind of forget. We forget where we came from. We forget the, the little kids in ourselves because everyone at one point was held in someone's arms. And everyone at one point was a foot, you know, to two feet, maybe three feet long. And could be held in someone's arms and like, wow, you know, this is this is a kid. I'm, I'm holding someone in my arms. That's Someone's thinking that, you know. And the next thing you know, now we're five, six feet tall and, it, and almost seven feet tall for some of us. And... And, and there's no way anyone can hold us in, you know, their arms. And it's like, wow. We were all once small. We were all once that little. And it, it's crazy to think about that, but it's the truth. And it kind of brings out the similarities in people, too. Knowing that we were all once little. And that we were all once little kids that were just wanting to have fun. And it kind of sucks that now people are growing up faster than they used to be. People are making millions of dollars when they're 20-something. You know, me, for example, I'm not making millions of dollars. I mean, I'm making enough off of YouTube even right now that I can support myself as, you know, a 15-year-old as much as I need to. And it's crazy because I'm 15 and I'm sitting in class brainstorming about ideas for a YouTube video. I'm sitting in class brainstorming ideas for my podcast. I'm working feels like 24 7 i actually did the hourly work that i normally do and i end up working 40 to 50 hours a week on youtube trying to market my channel get people out there knowing that i'm here trying to you know i'm not getting nominees and nominations for the freaking shorty award i'm trying to win trying to do all of that stuff and i'm 15 and it's like wow I'm sure I've kind of stepped up to this responsibility myself and sure I love doing it I wouldn't trade this for anything in the world but it still kind of you know makes you reminisce of the time where you didn't have any responsibility the time where you were a little kid and you could just have fun and sure playing video games and stuff is, is fun but most of this YouTube thing guys you don't realize this but it's, it's not all playing video games you get your gameplays ahead of time the only reason I play video games anymore is to do live commentaries so, like, I get all my, I've, all my gameplays are from December at this point, and I still have, like, 30 more saved up, so I really don't even need to play Call of Duty, I really don't even need to play Call of Duty 4, or even Halo, I actually have a ton of gameplay saved up on Halo 2, 
I don't really even need to play video games. Really, all I'm doing now is marketing my channel, trying to be like, hey, check out my channel, trying to gain subs, trying to get my name out there more and more and more, trying to win this Shorty Award, trying to do everything I can just to grow my channel because that is my main focus right now. And so I try to put out the best of the best videos. This video right here has taken me five shots so far. This is my sixth shot in this video. Will this one go up? I don't know. Hopefully it will. If it does, awesome. If I have to redo it again, well then, that's fine too because it wasn't the best I could possibly do. But anyway, why is that? Why is society picking up people? Picking up people at a younger age? And I know some of you guys are probably like, I'm 15 and I don't even know, I'm 15 just like you and I don't even know what I want to do when I grow up, much less have a job right now. And to be honest, guys, if you're 15 and you don't know what you want to do when you grow up, most people are going to tell you it's okay. You have the, you know, you have three years to decide that. No, you don't. You have a year, a year and a half because colleges hit quick. You're going to start picking colleges your junior year, and they're going to come fast and they're going to swing hard. And you really need to know what you do when you're growing into those colleges. And I know I'm a sophomore in high school giving advice on colleges and things like that. But this is the kind of stuff I look into. I try to look into my future because I care about my future. And I care about your guys' future too. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and post a comment. It really helps me out. But yeah, guys, I'm Crisis YT, and I'm out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys may have missed. On the left is a blast in the past episode featuring Call of Duty 4 gameplay where I talk about why Call of Duty 4 is so great, what makes it fun for me, why I like it so much, and things like that. That's a really good video, and I would recommend going and checking it out. And the video on the right is Help Me Win a Shorty Award. Basically, if you guys watch that video, all I ask you to do is click the first link in the description and tweet out saying that, you know, I'm the best up-and-coming commentator and if you guys don't think that that's fine by me that's your own opinion but if you do please go check that video out it explains how to vote what you guys need to do and things like that it's an awesome video though pretty good gameplay behind it so i'd recommend going and checking it out also if you guys are new around here and you like what you see please hit that big yellow subscribe button because it will take you off to a page to subscribe to me also follow me on twitter like me on facebook those links are in the description i'm crisis yt and i'm out peace